Greetings. Peace. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for listening. I want to continue um, just speaking what's on my mind. And I have been um, reviewing all of this dynamic man who is no longer in our presence, uh, Khalid Abdul Muhammad. Powerful in every way. And he's no longer with us. They ain't sorry. And that's the second time they did it. He named his child after his teacher, Farrakhan. I heard him say that on one of his videos. He was speaking of his child. His, and he named it Farrakhan. He was a lot like MX, Detroit Red who loved and adored their teacher who later just didn't have your best interest at heart. Trust no one. I don't trust no one. Trust. He was dynamic. He was dynamic. Um... I brought up trust because right now on this chessboard that they are playing all around us and while we're pawns and sheep, they building up, uh, you know, like a gang would do. Like you saw on these TV program power and they go around, they get their little henchmen that do their little bidding and shit. Russia is becoming allies with Belarus, Venezuela, Cuba. And then the United States is getting their posse together. Russia is also aligned with China. The United States is trying to start a, be a war because Congress has to declare the war, right? But they proxy war with Russia on their turf, but with other people's sons and daughters. But I'm thinking now, maybe they all playing a game on us. Because it's like we have no say. These two superpowers. And I'm hearing allegedly that the U.S. is losing grounds. They're losing that tyrancy, the hegemony, piracy of wanting to rule the world is failing because China is moving on, building up. All these bridges and dams and roads all over the world. <laughs> Which I'm like, that's not good because you're telling your enemy what, you know, because I'm I'm involved in this, this, this war game now. I'm like, shit, that's what you do. You building up and what do your enemy do when he get mad at you? That's the first place he going for. Tear your shit up. But they, I know now they go for airports so you can't land. They go for your uh, battleship in the ocean so your, 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 your fighters can't land. And you know what else is amazing to me? Uh, Japan, you know how strong warrior-minded they were in the head. They would drive their planes into the ships. That scared the shit out of the U.S. That scared them to death. Because they, and they would summarize, rip themselves right open. 
before their head was amputated. But yet they're allies with the people who bombed them three times with nuclear bombs. Those warriors strong-minded in the head, they forgave them. <laughs> because Japan looks so beautiful. Oh, it looks gorgeous. They build it up. They said they were sorry. And they build it up. It's gorgeous. You, you would have never known that three nuclear bombs dropped over there. I don't know where the pictures are of the, the birth defects because that's still got to be happening. That shit you can't get rid of once someone bombed you three times. That shit is still is coming out in the blood. You have deformity. You have cancer. You have all kind of shit coming up. But I don't see those people. But anyway, they're friends. They're allies. So they forgot. They forgave. Those strong-willed-minded people forgave. I find that extremely incredible. But that's all I want to share for today. Peace if you can find it. I'm into this uh, geopolitics. <laughs> it's interesting. It tells you what we're dealing with. Those that fed babies to alligators... They are the ones now that people I know defend them religiously. Right here. Right here. People that I know defend them religiously. That's because ignorance isn't bliss. When you don't know what's really going on, when you believe everything that your enemy is telling you, when all you have coming before you 24-7, because they never turn the TV off, is the U.S. corporate media, they're going to feed you what they want you to have. But like I said, read what the other two have to say. Eight out of ten said this. What did the other two say? And shake yourself. Shake your mind. Wake up. Wake your own self up. You ever felt yourself halfway waking up from a nightmare or from sleep and you're trying to wake up? That's what's happening, right? Wake yourself. Shake yourself. Peace, people, if you can find it. Thanks for listening.